that shit right there. Reader, listener, email y'all want to be ready. You want to be ready. I want to start releasing some more um, focused game videos, man. Nigga have fell off on the focus game videos. Very focused in certain areas, highlighting different things, going through the game as if I was going through the Bible. You feel me? Because, you know, it's like you got to keep going over and over shit like it was the Bible. You know how the preacher be continuously going through the Bible, the different sermons, you know, that we doing. Reader, listener, email, reader, listener, email. All right. A nigga from Dallas, Texas, writes to Boss Mac. He say, Boss Mac. I'm a 34-year-old nigga with a mixed rotation of bitches. I have a white bitch two Asian bitches and a black bitch. The black bitch is the newest acquisition. A 28 year old bartender model. She has been a a project in development for about a month and a half. We finally ended up at the crib off the do saying za. It was about to go up. A bitch pulls my dick out and begins to inspect my shit and looks disappointed. I asked a bitch, was my dick too small? And a bitch said, your dick is bald where's the hair i had manscaped off all of the hair off my dick and balls on some too hot for the summer shit the bitch did a mild dick suck and really couldn't get into it and then a bitch told me she was on her period And close the pussy for the night. Then after that, a bitch ghosted me, boss Mac. I'm at a loss for this. This has never happened with none of my bitches before. Is it a bad thing to cut off all the hair off your dick and balls like that? Hit the like button for that weird shit. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Probably, you know, I guess niggas be on a porno shit. You know what I'm saying? The boss, man. Uh, I never really got into that excessive uh, shaving. I just try to get like right there on the side by the balls. You know what I'm saying? Right there on the side by the balls right there. You know what I mean? I might do that. You know what I'm saying? Hit the like button. I might do that. But I mean, you know, in this world, you know, bitches have they different, you know, you know, it, it, all the bitches got they different things that they like, man. I just heard a bitch the other day talking about she like niggas that look gay, but, but it's not, that's not gay. I heard a bitch say she like niggas that look gay, but they not gay. I heard a bitch say that. I was like, what the fuck? What is that? 
I was like, she like niggas that look gay, but they not gay. Then some bitches, you know, hey, they need you rugged, man. They, you can't have no softness about you, man. So, you know, you got to uh, cop and blow. Uh, uh, it's always hard when you right there at the finish line with a bitch. You done put in all this work. You done thought you made this progress. You thought you you was like, damn, man, I'm about to fuck. Finally, all this talking, eating, did all this shit, all this with this bitch. I got her in here. We naked. She got my dick in her hand, and now a bitch looking funny. And then it just be some unexpected shit from the left. You never had this with your other bitches. Never said nothing about it. You never seen this. But with the black one, she just like, nigga, where, nigga, you don't got no hair on your balls, bro. Can't fuck with you. That's a sign or something, nigga. Can't fuck with you. So you got to accept it, man. You know what I'm saying? See, that's the name of the podcast. You know what I'm saying? You got to. Tony Red, what's up with it? These nuts. I mean, like, once again, man, when you're out there, when you're out there in the field and, you know, you meeting bitches, adding bitches to the team, going through the processes to getting to knowing the bitch, Hanging out with a bitch, enjoying a bitch. And then it come down to the critical moment. You know, the critical moment. A crit- the critical moment. A bitch got to look at your dick and approve of your dick. It's a moment of truth. All of us got to go through it. A bitch got to, the light has to be on and a bitch goes, okay, let's have a look at the dick you know what i'm saying and you either approve or not i mean you at least approve the visual you approve you either approve the visual or not you know what i'm saying and then once you get past the visual inspection then you got to do the performance but the the you know, it, it's sensitive time. It can fall apart at any time. And we always got to be mindful that it could fall apart at any time. You know, all your built-up anticipation of busting a nut or whatever you thought was going to happen, it all could just vanish and leave. And then you just got to be still like, okay. And, and, and you got to be able to go from zero to 60, you feel me? Because of an unexpected, uh, unforeseen, what do they call it? Unforeseen consequences. Unforeseen consequences happen. And you like, damn, it went left. And I lost the bitch. All of a sudden, it's like, uh, it's like you was about to score a touchdown. You know what I'm saying? Y'all done drove down the field. You know what I'm saying? You done drove down the field. You done did some good plays and shit. And right now, nigga, it is first and goal. The running game been working. First and goal. This is, you know what I'm saying? We, you know, this is six right here. Fumble. Oh, shit. They just Fumble. Oh, they got it. Oh, shit. Oh, touchdown. Whoop de whoop. Oh, my God. It went the other way. Damn. Game over. Game over. <laughs> Game over. Game over. What a shocker. I thought they was going to win. I thought I was sure. I was sure. I was sure. Let's look at this. Let's look at the replay. You can see right here, he snapped it too early, and it went off his knee. He's going to, oh, my God, they're going to look at this in film. 
They're gonna be, they're gonna, oh my God. Oh my God. What a big game. What a big game. This was an upset. <laughs> this was an upset in the making. Oh my God. Look at that. They were up against an undefeated squad. They were about to score. See, it could have been a real bad bitch, a real bad bitch. You about to, you about to, it's you about to take down a badass bitch, and you just fumble the rock. Score the other way. It's over. <laughs> oh shit, man! How many times have I done that? It's over. Did a sucker move and it was over. And what's funny, man, a couple of times I got ghosted like that doing some sucker shit. And um, I did some sucker shit. And um, the bitch ghosted me. And then, you know, like, two years passed and I had built up my shit you know I got you know my shit more together I was I was having I was I was on by the time the next time the bitch seen me and um you know a bitch still really didn't know what I was working with I like seen the bitch somewhere like in a restaurant or something and I was like why you did me like that why you why you give me the one two why you give me the one two? And she was like, well, that sucker shit you did that time right here when you took me over here to that, when you took me to that house with no, well, you took me to that house that just had a bean bag in it. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no furniture in there. You just had a bean bag in there. You took me to the trap house. I was like, oh shit. My game was was kind of flimsy at that time. I probably was like, I probably was like 23, 24, some shit like that. Um, I figured since the apartment was new, it was a new apartment, I could get away with a bean bag in there and shit. You feel me? That was some sucker shit. The bitch was like, nigga, you took me to the... Hit the like button for this guy. Blow a bit. But I got her back, though. Down the line. See, that's the thing. You can regroup from the whoop whoop, bro. You know, down the line, man. You can regroup from the whoop whoop. Hey, man. Uh, I can't speak about shaving all the hair off your dick and balls, man. Uh, I like to have... I like to maintain, you know what I'm saying, the, the uh, savage. Ball smack maintain the savagery. Hit the like button for this game. It's always best to maintain savage. You feel me? You know what I mean? We need, we need that savage in there. D.C. Bolden in this motherfucker. Mason Dixon. Man, let's keep it going, keep it going. 